Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be again from New York City land. Starcon, bottom left hand corner. Sorry, upper left hand corner. We have Pandora starting as a black Terran, bottom left hand corner. We have Raz starting as the brown Protoss. This is going to be on Vermeer once again. And I'll tell you what, game one, Raz did not give Pandora any breathing room to get his build order up and running. And I'm wondering if there's going to be more shenanigans. It's one thing Raz is very good at is when I think of Raz's Protoss playstyle, I really think of Jazz, where I guess it rhymes with the Raz. But he uh, very much likes throwing his opponent off guard, mixing things up, uh, keeping his opponent off balance. And he sent out a very early probe here. I'm wondering if we're going to have a proxy gateway placement at some point. He's going for a cross scout spawn right this second. It could be possible that this is just an early probe. Again, to, nope. I was going to say maybe to try to secure that gas steel to have a similar situation to game one, but we definitely are going to end up most likely with two gate. <clears throat> Not sure what happened with PVT, but there was a period of time where one gate openers were a thing, where it was proxy one gate, where you could kind of do some economic disruption and recover despite and, uh, losing the gateway in the long term. We do see one gateway being dropped. Okay, maybe here I was expecting two gate. Instead, Raz just dropping the single gateway. So we might be seeing that. Now scouting, moving to the upper left-hand corner, he is going to end up finding, wow, on first scout as well, his opponent, interior. But the trick of this is, is this allows pressure, so you end up kind of sacrificing that down the line if you're not ultra successful with the gateway pressure. Looks like we have the gas, no gas steal opportunity here. So now it might be a race for Raz to do as much damage as possible before that factory is in place and that first vulture is out. But this allows a good amount of pressure with, with initial zealot construction, but it's not an economic all-in. It definitely is an economic hit, but it puts you in a position where you can harass, throw your turn opponent off guard, and still get an expansion and get defensive gateways in place behind this. So it's almost like a 250 mineral investment early to do some initial harassment. It looks like a supply depot being built alongside that barracks. That first marine needs to get constructing ASAP because that first zealot is already on its way out and marching top left. So we'll see what Raz can get done out of this. If it's any indication game one, this could be very, very successful. He's warping in that assimilator behind this, so there is going to be a Dragoon follow-up. SCV are currently fully in gas, so it doesn't look like there was any attempt to go for a rapid command center. And that first SCV going to spot that zealot as it's incoming, having to give up position. And SCVs pulling off gas right this second as this first Zealot coming in. This is one versus one. Two SCVs pulling off the Marine trying to get in that defensive slot. The Zealot looking to pick off that SCV along the corner. Right now, instead, has peeled through. Hunted nice defense from Pandora thus far. Has been able to pick off the probe and force that Zealot back. A second Zealot making its way in. Hasn't even gotten a shot off. So really nice defense in comparison to game one. That Zealot eating a lot of damage, but the second Zealot is now in that factory, not that far from completing. So Raz not getting what he was looking for out of this, but now it is two Zealots versus two Marines. And this is still a very tense, tough situation. The SCV and Marine combo able to take out that initial Zealot, but we got more Zealots coming. The second one making its way in, the factory's finished. And as soon as that first Vulture is out, usually that is a solid defensive situation. So Pandor in comparison to game one, only losing a single Marine thus far, two Marines out, that Vulture going to be completed in not too long and should be able to clean up any additional pressure. Ignore that uh, comment in the bottom <laughs> corner. For the brief moment here, it went black screen. Apologies for that. I'm going to keep the recording though. But a really nice cleanup from Pandora. It took very minimal damage. First Dragoon is now out. A lot of damage on the, this initial Marine, but this still should be sufficient to push this back with a decent amount of micro. Just need a second Vulture out, some additional Marines out, or maybe some SCV help. Right now, though, looks like the Dragoon is, in fact, going to stand. The SCV is attacking that pylon in the central position. And the Dragoon dies. The Marines got half health. That bunker is going to get established. But I don't think Raz got the economic benefit he was looking for out of it. And he wants to follow it up with Protoss Emergency Mode, which is Templar Archives. Let's see if he can stop an SCV scout from coming in. So he's going to drop the Templar Archives. So he's got the Citadel of Dune. Templar Archives dropping. 
Part of this might be to try to get map control. He's already got a probe at the natural expansion looking to expand. That is usually the follow-up to this. So if Pandora sees the Nexus warping in, might have might not feel like he's in too bad a situation, but that Dragoon need, does need to blockade. Okay, he, sees, he sees the probe down there and just pulls back. That's unfortunate. Pandor really needed to confirm the tech that was interior to the base. And also, right now, Pandor in a defensive slot, not moving out and taking down that free gateway with vultures yet. Maybe wants to wait for mines. The barracks floating out, and it's not going to be there in time to see the Dark Templar. Now, now it is up to... Pandor is in a great economic position right here. He really defended that well. He's ahead in workers. He's going to get that natural expansion up probably sooner than Raz. All he needs to do, almost blocking out a siege, almost crushing a siege tank with that barracks. Every once in a while, I've seen an explosion happening there. But all Pandor needs to do is get some mines out here, cap this, get some sort of anti DT defense. Mines researching, does he have the wherewithal to plant mines to deal with the Dark Templar? Vulture moving in position, now starting to work on that pylon. And does he see the shimmer? Dark Templar is away, making its way to the natural expansion. Command center is being built. Mines are finished, but the Vulture is just sitting there right this second. So Raz, with the emergency mode recovery of Dark Templar, <coughs> might end up taking this match. Regardless, the Dark Templar ignoring the natural expansion, walking straight in the main. There's the engineering bay being built. That is going to be halted immediately. First mine dropped, but there's more Dark Templar on the way. The second one going to the natural expansion, and now Pandor. All of the fantastic work he did in the early game, defending against Raz, falling apart now, as he's losing a lot of mining time. He's lucky he didn't get mine dragged right there. It looks like the second mine did... I was expecting that DT to stay in the natural expansion, but not able to get that engineering bay up. A second factory dropping. Additional vultures need to be planted. And the SCV's dying. Pandor dropping it right there. Ugh. Hate to see it, because he had such a solid defense in the early stages. Sorry for the black screen in the middle. Going to leave it here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.